Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Uh, today's video is about testing um, coil unplug ignition coils without internal igniters. Now this particular video is also uh, good for, for any other coil that's a two-prong coil which is similar in, in electrical uh, connecti connections uh, as a coil and plug unit without internal igniter. See on screen we just saw a, a coil uh, with an internal igniter. You, the only reason why you'll know that is because it has three uh, prongs or more. So if, if, if it's got three wires coming out of it or more, uh, it's, um, it has an internal igniter. Uh, so be mindful of that when testing. Now the rest of the other coils, as you can see on screen, uh, going back to the old time, this old timer that we uh, that we see here, uh, going into the um, um, pretty much anything that's that's the two prong coil, um, whatever we're going to learn here today, it's going to apply to that. Now, here on screen we we see a diagram of a typical coil and plug unit. Uh, this is a step up, uh, typical step up tran uh, transformer. Uh, that's exactly what it is. So it's got two leads, um, two prongs coming out of it. Um, now, basically, this is a no-brainer. You probably know it, you, you have two coils in. The, what you do is you usually have two coils, one inside the other. Uh, we're going to show we show you a symbol, you know, to simplify the explanation. But it's really two coils coupled together, very close together. Uh, these coils are normally, as some of, some of you might have seen, they're uh, full of epoxy resin inside. Uh, they take a lot of heat and they're pretty reliable. Uh, this particular video, we're going to show uh, how to test a coil and plug unit of a Ford unit. Uh, but it doesn't really matter which uh, um, make or, or model you know, we're talking about. It's pretty much the same regardless. So it's a simple uh, step-up transformer. You have a coil winding that with um, less uh, turns than the, um, which is the primary, and then the secondary, which uh, have a uh, much a ton of, uh, of of windings. And this is what creates uh, the uh, step-up voltage. Uh, so if you have uh, a coil, usually might have um, anywhere between three to seven amps going in. Uh, uh, but it has 20,000 volts, 45,000 vo uh, volts going out, but not at not at 10 amps, not even at one amp. So, again, uh, this is this is typical of a step-up transformer. Uh, it basically what it does is it just steps up the voltage, but not the current. It steps down the current. So voltage goes up, current goes down. Uh, that's basically, you know, how any uh, a step-up transformer works, and this is uh, typical of uh, coil and plug units or any other coil unit uh, that use in automotive uh, um, uh, vehicles. As you can see on screen, we are uh, going to use the Zapper uh, ignition coil tester. Uh, this unit is pretty much a, uh, uh, it's a it's a it's a dedicated unit to test ignition coils. Uh, we're going to do another video uh, um, here on this channel that actually deals with testing ignition coils without using a dedicated uh, test unit. Uh, but this is important because it's uh, you could you could destroy the coil if you don't uh, use a proper signal going in. In this particular case, this unit produces the uh, uh, the high current s uh, uh, signal, which is not a signal; it's a driver signal uh, necessary to trigger the coil on. Um, the unit has a uh, coil positive and coil negative, as, as you um, as you can see on uh, you know on, the, on this video, in this clip here. Um, you connect it to the battery. Uh, there is another little uh, wire that's used to trigger uh, coils with internal igniters. We have another video on that, but this particular video has to do with uh, units uh, with uh, um, external igniters or or an ignition module on the outside. We're going to use a. Um, uh, a power supply here in in be, uh, in uh, in place of a battery uh, because we we're just doing it on we're bench testing this coil. So we simply connect the um, the zapper ignition coil tester to the uh, to the battery. In this case, the uh, uh, the power supply. Now a word of caution here. This is uh, so you can see on screen. 
um, reverse connecting, reverse polarity connecting the coil to the uh, to, to to the ignition uh, tester uh, or to to the car. It doesn't really matter. It is important. Okay, it'll it'll still trigger. It'll still give you a spike. But then you're 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 inverting the the power, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go. Uh, electrons are going to flow rather than going in and this is the way it is you know electrons flow in from the spark plug inside the coil and then into ground because ground has excessive electrons some of you might disagree with me and this is just a matter of semantics you know the theory is that uh, the ground has excessive electrons so it actually uh, electrons flow to ground and this is the same as a lightning um, it actually flows. Uh, it doesn't flow from uh, top to bottom. It flows from bottom from the from the earth uh, to the sky. <laughs> anyhow, so I'll leave uh, I'll leave that up to you to research that. But anyhow, so if you reverse polarity connect the coil to the sapper, it'll still it'll still ignite. It'll still show a spike. But uh, on a car, it'll act the, the ECM would actually sense there is an issue and will uh, will give you give you a code. So even if you do it on a car. Do not reverse polarity uh, coils because you could create a problem and then you're going to see a misfire code uh, that you won't be able to get rid of it. As you can see on screen, um, we're connecting the zapper to the um, the Ford ignition coil on plug unit. Uh, it's a two-prong, uh, two-terminal uh, coil. Uh, and basically, it's a straightforward thing. We, uh, we have uh, rigged a small... Uh, connector connector pins so that we connect it to the coil negative and the coil positive of the unit. Uh, and as soon as you, th this unit has two knobs, a dwell and an RPM knob, which is a frequency knob. We can change the frequency, we can change the dwell, which is the, the pulse width uh, that goes into the, uh, into the coil. And this is why it's important uh, to have a dedicated unit if you do it with any other kind of uh, with you can do it you know because this uh, this doesn't have an internal igniter uh, with any other unit you have to have high current going out of the unit to do it uh, but anyhow um, it, it, it basically what it is is just you're triggering the coil at the right uh, signal if the pulse width is right and the frequency is too high you'll burn the coil um, this unit will not let you do that it's just made that way uh, so basically you have to have the right pulse width, which is a dwell at a specific frequency and with this unit you can actually stress test uh, the ignition coil to its max um, and you can, you know, there's no uh, uh, danger of uh, burning the coil. Uh, there is a gapper, a spark gapper that you can see on screen and this is, this is also used to stress test the coil. You can separate the rods, the, the two rods that you see there, you can move them um, and split them apart. Um, an inch or e even if you want to go higher than that you're, you'll be stressing the coil quite a bit uh, but it's uh, an inch is enough if you want to go higher than that it'll, it'll, it'll definitely gap it'll, it'll jump the gap but that's how you stress the coil uh, so basically it's a whole it's a dedicated unit for stressing coils but basically it's a straightforward thing you know uh, testing uh, coils uh, with, with a zapper uh, and, and these type of, of, of coil plug units uh, they're two pronged they don't don't have an internal igniter so there's no there's no driver transistor inside as usual we'll um, we'd like to thank you for tuning into our channel ADP training uh, you can look us up uh, look our products on Amazon uh, by doing a search on ADP training as well that's our brand name uh, so anyhow um, uh, we thank you for being uh, for tuning in and uh, thank you for watching this channel is for do-it-yourselfers as well as professional auto repair technicians we present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques on hands video and how to tips and techniques we encourage you to subscribe to this channel now once subscribed anytime we upload a new automotive tip secret or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book. Kindle ebook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge.
learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.